Morning, y'all. Welcome to Thin Blue Line. Wanted to go over a couple of holster things. Uh, somebody brought me this holster from, I'm not going to say the company, I'm not going to bash anybody, but I am going to bash quality. So what we're going to do is we're looking at this 365 XL holster. So I want you to look, okay? So this one's open. You see it's not right here, okay? And if you look on the other side, it's not even, okay? And there's nothing wrong with having your trigger not covered all the way. And I'll show you an example in just a minute, but at least make both the sides even. So it's kind of horrible looking. This one, it doesn't come out on the end. Um, it, our, our holsters, we try to make them level on the end. And then this one only has one uh, retention screw. So theoretically, you should hear a click. So there's no click. So let me show you one of ours. And I'm using a 365 instead of 365XL. So if you listen, okay, you hear a little click. That way you know it's in there. And then you hear it again. And then if you look at ours, even though we enclosed the trigger, like I said, there's nothing wrong with an open trigger, but we prefer to uh, enclose ours. So, but you can see that the barrel is flush with the end, the trigger's completely covered, and then when you stick your hand in there, your finger doesn't touch any kydex, okay, when you make the draw. So this one is for a left-handed person, but if you go up and you grab it, well, there's some stuff in the way, okay? Same here, so I don't wanna touch any kydex. So when we do a sweat guard, this is one of our adjustable ones. You see right here, it's open, but then when you're reaching in, you're not hitting a bunch of Kydex. So that's a quick video. We appreciate y'all showing up. Have a great day. God bless you.